I think you should get a snack right behind you there. Andy. I should. Oh, I should get like a, like a, like with a light behind it. Kind of, wouldn't that be neat? Fit right there. Look or at that, be like, oh, snack. Alan and Karen Kasia. There's so many beautiful dances. Yeah, yeah, he's also a filmmaker. He's developed this style where they elevate each other. It, and just how beautiful yeah. it is. So many awards have been nominated. Got a 2019 great. Lifetime Achievement Award from Dance on Terror, Clifford E. Lee, Adore Me Even More Award, Fleck Fellowships for Innovation. It was in the UNESCO citation for peace and culture. Yeah. It's so prestigious. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan and Karen Kasia. <laughs> nice to see you. How are you? Excellent. Doing Thank good. You. What is the moment that you decided to become a dancer? I was going to go into psychology, but I'm also going to study dance. So you never and danced before that? No, I took a couple of classes so that I could be able to audition. I got in by the seat of my pants. And I fell in love with dancing. Alan, go ahead. And I know the exact moment it changed my life. I was invited <laughs> by the Ontario Olympic Federation to compete internationally. My goal had always been to go to the Olympics. In what sport? <laughs> as a wrestler, I would do things to improve my wrestling. So I did judo. I took my first dance class to improve my balance, my sure. agility. I walked out of that class and said, I just found my life. And this elevation dance that you've created, is that because of your wrestling? A hundred percent. Karen and I do a form of dance called contact. We found this connection together, not only sensorially, but also with flight. And Karen just loves to fly. It's a real marriage of combatives and contact. Oh. This was from Honest Ed's. We love Deep Honest memories. Ed's. It was the last day it was open. Oh. Everything was being removed. And we were in there purposefully to go and do yeah. an homage. A filmmaker came in with us. After a while, there was security chasing us. Oh, there were announcements. <laughs> Please stop sitting on the blah, blah, blah. You're also a filmmaker. I did a whole series of films based on the Holocaust because right. my father is a Holocaust survivor. Those films are now part of the permanent collection. In Israel at Yad Vashem. They're part of the permanent collection at the Jewish Museum in New York. They were on exhibit at the MoMA in New York. Uh, everybody can check them out at your website. Kasia.org. Porch View Dances. Welcome to the first annual Porch View Dances. <laughs> Porch View Dances started in 2012. Uh, what would it be like to bring a choreographer to paired people together with people who lived in a home, begin to create these moving stories? We close off the streets, we hire choreographers, we put out a call to bring families together, four or five dances, and the audience moves through the street. Along the way, we do little vignettes. We're professional dancers. We all end up in the park. It become so successful, and they changed the name of a laneway to Porch View Dances. Dances Lane. Oh. Wow. We scour the internet for old stuff. Okay. Here we go. I think you know what's coming. Uh, what's we coming? do. Welcome to Papa Rogers. Glad you could make it this morning. Oh, if you have yes. a get your mat or your favorite beach towel. Got a television <laughs> screaming oh the 80s. God. 1989. Anything you got coming up? Our show in the fall of 2022 two new works that have been developed over the last six years. We're launching a film called Kitchen Dances in 2022. Alan, Karen, thank, really you. thank nice. you so much. Thank you. This wow. was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Wasn't that great? I love the physicality of the dancing. I mm -hmm. love the yeah. bodies all intertwined. Lots of lifting. Lots like of lifting. Speaking okay. of lifting, lift hey, up and say like. Share. Subscribe. I thought uh, I was we're missing one. Like. We're missing one. Comments. Like.